All right, some of you uh, may have watched when I made these. It was, it's been a while. I don't know why I didn't put them in the shop. Oh, well. Got busy in other directions, but these were a lot of fun to make. Now, the front and the back of uh, each of these is made out of plywood, 1 8 inch plywood. And then I did um, plaster work and encaustic work on these the back all i did was put a coat of the gesso that way if you want to paint it if you want to collage on it whatever it is you want to do it's just ready for you to apply whatever that is all right now they're each made very similar basically the only difference is the front cover so let's look at this one this one is A, and the size, they're all the same size, and it is 6 inches, 6 by 10, and the spine is almost 3 inches. All right, so I open it up, and this is um, some handmade paper. It's very thick. It's thick like watercolor paper. And then I just made this little, like, little pouch here. And in here are, you know, like I do with most of my journals, I fill it up with stuff for you to fill in um, with the, any given theme that my journals are. So this one, you know, with houses and trees and birds. And so it represents, like, different seasons. So... These are more obviously for the fall. And then I have various papers. They'll be a little bit different in each one because some of them are one of a kind. But you can kind of get the idea. And then I printed off some of these houses in black and white. And then I came in and I put like little red flowers. I put some of the roofs on little houses in red because those of you that follow me you know how much i love the black and the white with the red so all of this is um for you to be able to use in the journal whether you're going to glue things down or make additional pages this represents obviously well i say obviously it looks like the spring to me i don't know but there's no leaves on there I still stick into the spring idea. <laughs> I don't know. There's fruit, but no leaves. Go figure that one out. Then I had these little wood birds. And I thought, wouldn't these look cute? If like if you painted them black and put them somewhere. Or turn them into cardinals and painted them red. Put little spikies up on top. So those are in there. You can get each one will have two birds and that little tree. And then, again, this is all handmade, but very, very thick paper. I stamped some birdies on there. And then these are some of those that, I guess it looks a little bit like fall, huh? I don't know. There's no leaves, but it looks colorful. I thought it was cheery. <laughs> yeah, there are no leaves. I have to rethink that. Anyway, <laughs> you can make it any season that you want it to be. <laughs> it at all now the way I made these this is a signature but it's removable because I figure if you're going to want to do some mixed media on the pages then you won't get everything all messy and you can work on these individually and they just go in and out but this is a complete signature and then in this one I put some pockets and uh, these are more like in cardstock, so they're a little thicker. And you could use those like some little postcards. Then I had some bird stamps, and so I stamped them on tissue. And I thought it would look really cool if you wanted to decoupage them on to these papers or on some of the other pages. But just a variety of little birds and some toys. 
twigs. They're probably more like weeds, but I think they're cute. And then some trees. That would look really nice incorporated in here. Then I printed, now this is spring. Then I, I printed these off. These are all off of the, um, the same digitals that I use, but um, just different seasons. So you can see those in there. And again, each one of these have the same ones in the journal. Then this is the, the covers that I used on these. And I didn't use all of them because there was more than the amount of journals I was making. But I did print them all out so that you can use. And then here are some more of those fall um, trees. A little more moody. And again, all of these signatures you can pop out and work on and just scoop them back in. And then here in the back, I did one of the black and white, painted up the little roof. I put some fruit. <laughs> and then here is a little pencil made out of some tree bark. And this one is A. All right. And you may or may not be able to see all of the, the layers in here for the encaustic and the plaster. I just really like working with both of those together. Okay. So that was A. This one is B. Same size, same plaster work, same cute little houses. This opens up and it's filled with those things. It also has those little uh, wooden birds and trees and stuff. And again, some of the same pictures. If not identical, they're still part of that same... Um, digital so I'll go through those real quick because it might be I try to use a, a variety of the pictures Again, same, same, same. Same goes, I'm sorry. Print out that, the houses. And then more of the fall. And I do have some scraps left over, and as usual, I'll just divvy them up a little bit, and they'll be included. And this one is B. Now, C is already sold, so I'm just going to go straight over to D, as in dog, and show you little details of that. And same pouch with all those goodies in there. And let's see if I have repeats here. Maybe yes, maybe no.
pretty. Pretty. No leaves. I don't I don't get it. I don't <gasps> no leaves. But look how colorful and pretty. All the same goodies. All the same goodies. Print out. Cute. And that one is D. All right. So these will be in the shop. I have some other journals that will be going in the shop. I'll be filming that right after this. I just didn't want the video to be too long. So I'm just concentrating on the ones that look alike. So again, I probably should put it in order. This is A. B and D. C is already sold. All right, they'll be in the shop. I think you need a little, a little cute little house. It's part of your journal. I think, I think you really do, because it is fun to make, and I'm sure it'll be fun for you to fill up. All righty, they'll be in the shop.